Here, J. Piff, I packed some cakes with honey, some venison, and some fruit for your journey. Thanks, Teresa. You make some of the best venison in all of Hebron. You're sweet. But what are you buttering me up for now? Nothing. Except I was hoping that you packed some of your yummy cheese cracker combos. I already have. But don't be eating them all in one setting. I will try not to. Besides, I'm only going to be gone for a couple of days. Since there is a plague in the land, Jerusalem should not be very busy. After I get done with my business meeting, I will go the next morning to Marco's Market and get the household items that you wanted. Did you write me out a list? Yeah, here it is. Germex? I don't think they're going to have any on hand. Actually, they'll probably have a bunch of it on their hands. Get it? I made a funny. What? Haha, <laughs> you're such a funny guy. Just promise me one thing, though, that you'll return home safely. I will do my best. Huh. There's a lot of hustle bustle. I wonder what's going on. Oh, excuse me, young lady. Yeah? Young lady. Yeah, how can I help you? What is all the commotion about? The Romans are taking the Messiah to go golf and to crucify him. Why are they going to crucify Jesus? What horrible crime did he commit? Apparently, the Sanhedrin accused Jesus of blasphemy, saying that he claimed to be king of the Jews. Really? Yeah! They brought him before Caiaphas, who found him guilty of blasphemy. That is horrible! Right? Then, the next morning, they took him to Pontius Pilate. You know, the governor's custom is to release a prisoner to the people. No, I did not. Yeah, it is. So, being that Pilate found no fault in Jesus, he tried to trick the people. How did he try to trick them? He figured they would choose to have Jesus released. So he brought a murderer before them and asked which one should be let go. And? They chose Barabbas. What? How could they choose a murderer over Jesus? Just wait, it gets worse. He asked what he should do with Jesus and they cried out, crucify him. Crucify him! But Pilate didn't want Jesus' blood on his hands. So he washed his hands of the matter and sent Jesus to be scourged. I can't believe this is happening. I mean, growing up, I always heard of wonderful stories about the Messiah, and now that he's here, they want to kill him. You better believe it because it's happening right now as we speak. Do you want to go with me? No, I want to go talk to the governor and put a stop to all this. The governor's the one who's having it done. Then I'm going to talk to Caesar. We have to stop them. They've already made up their minds. Besides, I think Jesus has to go through this. Why would he have to get crucified? Because I've heard people say things about what Jesus was talking about. What did you hear? Apparently, when he was in the temple, he told the Jews there that he was only going to be with them for a little while. Then he was leaving to go to the one who sent him. Who sent him? According to prophecy, God, the Heavenly Father, sent Jesus. What was that? I don't know. We should go to Calvary and see if anybody else felt the ground shaking. Disciples, let's go talk to him. Where'd you go? I don't know. Well, excuse me, sir. What can I do for you? What happened? I saw the sky go dark and felt the earthquake. Did you feel it too? Yes, I did. When Jesus said his final words and gave up the ghost, the earthquake started. So, just like that, Jesus is gone? Yes, but he told us disciples that he would rise again after being in the grave for three days. Now I must leave. What? Really? How can this be? How can... What be? The earthquake. Okay, now I'm confused. When the earthquake happened, that's when Jesus died. You mean he's... Yeah. Gone? Dead. But that disciple just told me 
that Jesus said he'll rise from the grave again in three days. What? How can that be? I'm not sure. All we can do now is wait to see what happens in three days. By the way, what happened to you coming up the hill? I thought you were right behind me. Oh, uh, well, I just couldn't leave my donkey and my cart in the middle of the market. Once I found a spot to park them, I started up the hill and my sandal broke. So it <laughs> took me a while to get here. Well, that makes sense. Let's go back to the market and buy a duck so we can take your sandal back together. Okay. By the way, what is your plan now? I'm going to stay the next three days to see what happens. Oh, okay. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know my Redeemer lives. I same God that spins things in orbit runs to the weary the worn and the weak and the same gentle hands that hold me when I'm broken they conquer death to bring me victory Tirza! Tirza! What happened to you? You said you were going to be gone for two days, and it's already been four. And where's the stuff from Marco's Market? Wait till you hear the story I have to tell you, 